Hey guys, it's Adi here with my Nokia blog, and today we have a quick first look at the latest update for Windows Phone 8 devices, which is GDR3 or Update 3. And this was just announced and released today by Microsoft, available for developers and enthusiasts through a special a special app. I'll do another video explaining how to get that. But basically, the app is available now, and it'll probably be uh, available on other devices, pre-installed on most likely the Nokia Lumia 1520 later this month when it's announced at Nokia World Abu Dhabi in uh, October 22nd which is going to utilize some of the new features which we'll discuss today. So basically the main changes in terms of hardware support is the ability to support quad-core processors and processors such as the Snapdragon S800, which is one of the most powerful processors, if not the most powerful processor on the market right now. So that's a great up for Windows Phone 8 games. We'll probably see a lot better graphics and better utilization and battery performance, hopefully. The other feature that's really important for uh, hardware support is the now support of 1080p screens, which we'll probably see as well in the Lumia 1520. And with those 1080p screens comes an option for a 3 4 tile, which means like you could fit one tile, it'll be about three medium tiles, three small tiles wide. So you can fit a tile this large and a small tile next to it. And it'll be give better utilization of screens. Unfortunately, that is not currently available on non-1080p screens. So as you can see, we only still have the same three tile sizes. So, on to software changes. Uh, some of them are big, some of them are small. Of the Main software changes, now you have the ability to end apps. As you can see, that little X that's coming up in the corner to exit an app. So simply just hit the X, and the app closes. And this will help close apps that you don't want open, running in the background, which can sometimes lead to confusion when using the back button. It's because I know a lot of people aren't really sure exactly how the back button works on Windows Phone 8 sometimes, so it might help with the confusion there. Other feature, or before I continue, actually, I'd just like to show you the build version compared to the uh, Lumia 1020, which is still running Lumia Amber or GDR2. So if we hit more information more information, you can see the OS version is 8.0.105, and this is 8.0.103. So, uh, but it's still Windows Phone 8. Uh, we'll probably see Windows Phone 8.1 early 2014 or late 2013, depending on how things go. So, uh, other features that we might see here, first of all, unfortunately, this is not contain features which such as Cortana, the voice assistant, or the notification hub and stuff like that. So it's minor features of them include a rotation lock. So if we head back into the settings, you have screen rotation right here. And basically you just toggle the lock on and off. So if we turn it off, the phone screen will not rotate. If we turn it back on, it will rotate. Pretty simple. Uh, of course, it's not exactly the best usage right now, so you'll probably have to get an app with a home screen shortcut for it. Not sure if, let's see if we can spin this to home screen. You cannot, so yeah. Well, some apps will probably allow us to get a home screen shortcut to the thing. Anyways, what else do we have? We have a uh, driving mode, which allows you to block some notifications and messages while driving to keep you focused on your driving. So if you set up, select next, you can choose to ignore calls or ignore text, and you can also optionally set up a auto response when you're connected to this thing. So if I just add it onto my onto my VW phone, which is my, uh, my car's Bluetooth name. When I'm driving and it's connected to this Bluetooth, it will either choose, depending on my settings, block all phones or block all text messages or reply with auto texts. So if we see like next, you can just press finish, we don't want that. Another feature we can see in this update is uh, a change in how you can set your contacts and their ringtones. So if we head into a contact here and just hit edit, now you have the option to add a custom text tone, which will basically give off a text tone which can be customized for each contact to let you know when he's dialing, something that is not previously available in other versions of Windows Phone 8. Uh, of course, this doesn't truly solve the ability to add custom text tones to third-party apps, which like all have the same notification alert, which is kind of annoying. I'd like to add a custom tone for WhatsApp, and one for Twitter, and one for Facebook, etc. But apparently, you know, that's not high on Windows on Microsoft's list of updates. There's also a slight update in the way your ringtones are actually set up. So if we head into the ringtones over here and ringtones over here, there's just the option over here to change the reminders. So as you can see, it's not here. The reminders, you can choose a specific tone for the reminders. And I guess it's a pretty cool option, whatever. Um, and in terms of other features, uh, Bluetooth has been optimized. I'm not sure if that means it includes Bluetooth 4.0 or not, but it says it's been optimized for Bluetooth. And now when... You go to the Bluetooth, sorry, I went over here. If I go to Bluetooth and you have now the advanced option, you've hit advanced, it'll tell you connect in a different way to speech with Bluetooth in my car, 
which usually means basically if your car isn't recognizing your speak, uh, talking, your voice commands, it, it'll check it in a different way. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I personally had no issues with my car and the, ten, and the Bluetooth, so I'm not going to be using that option. And um, of course, all the Nokia features are still there, and there will be other Nokia features added in the Bittersweet Shimmer. But until then, I mean, another little feature that you might have noticed is the fact that it now has a little icon next to the name of the app. So settings, people, driving mode, as you can see on the 1020, there's just the name of the app without any of those little things. So that's little detail touches, you know, nothing major. And as we mentioned, the little X to close apps. Uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, GDR3 or update, update 3 for Windows Phone 8. I think I missed a couple things, but they're not major features. Uh, sorry if I did forget any. I'm just really um, scatterbrained right now. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the update. Have you gotten it? Um, and I'll see you guys around in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.